you're going to um, see this video uh, but I'm doing a meal prep today I am going to make some jiaozi, make some Chinese dumplings and I'm calling them hacker dumplings my idea is to make a nutritionally complete or close to nutritionally complete Chinese dumpling as an alternative to ramen or pizza or any kind of drunk food that programmers and makers and hackers tend to eat when we get busy rather than we invent the wheel what I did was I went through a list of traditional Chinese ingredients and recipes and tried to figure out what was already very very nutritious and see if I can improve on that and there was one ingredient that was a wheel standout and there was baby bok choy it is the second most nu nutrient dense food there is so that forms our base so it's gonna be half baby bok choy and it's gonna be half pork so we have a good source of protein as well now it is not absolutely complete yet and what we're doing we're not trying to make a superfood we're trying to make something at least better than what programmers makers and compete computer kids are eating these days if we are looking at macronutrient ratio most people are trying to eat more protein less carbs and unfortunately in pizza and ramen very high carb fairly low protein and that's not what most people are looking at the hacker dumplings which are basically based on the 50 50 bok choy pot ratio they actually as strange as it is they actually have quite a good macronutrient profile that compares favorably to milk squares and soylins although it is not as nutritionally complete yet as either of those options and we can see here just uh, what vitamins and minerals are in pizza and are in ramen compares to the hacker dumplings the hacker dumplings do come out well but they are deficient in D and E and that's something we can adjust in the future through adding other ingredients or maybe supplementing with vitamins it's kind of up to the individual it is an open source recipe so I have all the ingredients here um, this is the dump dumpling wrapper and it's about 500 gram this is the uh, ground pork and uh, baby bok choy uh, cooking wine soy sauce uh, ginger and garlic now I'm going to uh, wash the baby bok choy first So I'm going to boil some water for uh, bok choy. Right now I'm putting all the bok choy uh, into the pot to boil it for uh, a minute. I bought this from the uh, market. They already uh, grind it up for me so I can just pour it into the bowl. Now I'm pouring three tablespoon of cooking wine into the bowl. Also three tablespoon of soy sauce. Now let's strain it. Strain the bok choy. Now it's too hot for me to squeeze the bok choy so I'm just gonna leave it there first and continue to season the pork and now let's pour it into the cold water for a while it's easier our next step to put an egg an egg yeah an egg so. also we need a uh, Three p 
piece of uh, green onion. Well, now it's like a handful, I would say. And a hard bowl of garlic, like half of the garlic, probably three to four cloves. And we also need a piece of a small piece of ginger, you know, just to get rid of the smell of the raw, um, raw pork. Uh, my honestly, I'm not a big fan of ginger, so I'm going to uh, cut it really, really small. So now I'm going to uh, put the bok choy into the blender. Now I have the vegetable uh, drainer here. This, uh, this tool helps you to drain the excess water. So I'm going to put the bok choy in here and drain out the excess water and pour it out. Now I'm going to put a little bit of sugar and um, salt. About that. Mm -hmm. This dumpling skin, they, they're very small. I think this would be enough for milk. I have the rest of the ingredient. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator because I have a dumpling machine coming, an automatic dumpling machine. I could just put it in and it automatically makes a full dumpling. I don't have to manually fold it like I just did. So now let's boil some water and let's try out, um, let's test out the taste. Let's turn off the stove. And let's see. Now maybe four. Let's try four without any soy sauce. Let's try four of them without any sauce. The ingredients good, but I think it needs uh, a little bit uh, of salt or soy sauce. I can eat it like that. It's too plain for me. So I'm going to add some sauce. Add some soy sauce. Just add some soy sauce in, and now let's try. It. A lot better. So the skin didn't break, you can see, the skin didn't break and the meat, when I open it, it's intact. I'm surprised the dumpling turns out great 
and I think you just need a little bit more work uh, I should work on the ingredient a little bit more but just like this it's a lot more nutritious than ramen noodles I'm still waiting for my automatic dumping machine so um, until next time remember if I can do it you can do it too let's make some dumplings